Man, he was once a rising star in the Republican Party, even a potential presidential candidate. But this morning, he's a convicted felon. A jury found former Virginia Governor Bob McDonnell guilty yesterday on corruption charges. They also convicted his wife. And Chip Reed is in Washington with the emotional end to a month-long trial. Chip, good morning. Well, good morning. Emotional is right. The McDonald's apparently were stunned by the verdict. The crying in the courtroom began with the first call of guilty and continued as the clerk read that word over and over again. As he left the courthouse, a grim Bob McDonald told a mob of reporters, quote, my trust remains in the Lord. Minutes earlier, he had been sobbing loudly as the clerk read the verdict, guilty on 11 counts of corruption. His wife, Maureen, who also wept, fared only a little better, guilty on eight counts of corruption and one count of obstruction. They were convicted of accepting about $170,000 in gifts and low-interest loans from businessman Johnny Williams, including $15,000 for a daughter's wedding reception and expensive equipment and rounds of golf for McDonald and his sons. The prosecution successfully argued that the McDonald's returned the favor by using their positions as governor and first lady to promote Williams' diet supplement business. Are you shocked, sir? Yes. McDonald's attorney, Hank Asbill, said he intends to appeal. We're very disappointed, but we're not deterred. This fight is a long way from over. On the stand for five days, McDonald argued that he could not have conspired with his wife because their marriage was so broken they barely spoke. He also blamed his wife for accepting many of the gifts, leaving him in the dark. Attorney Hampton Dellinger says the verdict sends a strong message to public servants who are living the high life. Today's verdict was a wake-up call for every politician. If they're not in it for the right reasons, they ought to get out of public life and fast. Before this scandal broke, McDonald was a rising star of the Republican Party, a family values conservative who was on the list of possible running mates for Republican presidential candidate Mitt Romney. He was even mentioned as a future presidential candidate himself. Sentencing is scheduled for January 6th, and the McDonald's can't appeal until after they are sentenced. If this case is not overturned on appeal, the McDonald's could be looking at many years in federal prison. Charlie? Chip, thanks.